That's a perfect episode cut. I love it. I love it when I can just see the edit uh, as we're playing. <laughs> like right here, right here, right here. Boom. <laughs> Hello, excuse me. <laughs> what is it? We don't have any more preparatory saves for this disc, but we will have one um, early on in disc three, which we're actually approaching at breakneck speed. That's good. It is good. It's great. It means this game, we mm, we might be able to finish this game the next time we meet to record. Damn. Which will be right after I get back from from Idaho. Yes. Right. We're going yeah. Yeah. We're ready to go. Roger. My name's Squall. <laughs> Maybe Leon. I don't know. Yeah. Why? Why? Oh, yeah. I'm, I was trying to think of why it's Leon in Kingdom Hearts. And, like, oh, because he's, like, embarrassed or some bullshit. That's stupid. The Junction Exchange with Zell. That's right. Was it to... Renoa? Must be Renoa. Yeah. Because she doesn't have a huge pile. There he goes. Not only does she have uh, Kiraga Junction in her HP, I think she has, like, HP plus 80% from Brothers. Jeez. Brothers are... They don't have... Like useful active abilities, but they have huge HP bonuses and defense bonuses, and they teach you cover and this defend. Stupid. This is so stupid looking. It's so stupid. Look, it's like some dumb whistle. Like one of those bird whistles you'd blow into. Can I go over mountains? No, but you can go in the water. Oh my Actually, goodness. Here, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll like... just, I'll lead us to where we need to go. Uh... You can go, you can go there later and find an alien. But if I had the little device which allowed you to play the Chocobo uh, side game, I would probably go do it. It'd be I should see if one of those are on eBay. It's probably like 800 bucks. It'd be cool if the school, the garden, could get random encounters and it has its yeah. own ability. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If the enemies are just like two pixels high. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, this place got fucked. Ooh. It looks like a really bad cake boss cake. Uh, Ooh. Damn. I know that Gordon's not a cake boss. No, but no, he no. Was. But it's, it's Buddy. <laughs> Buddy's the boss. He's the cake balls. Cake balls. Hey everybody, if you haven't already, you should go to Film Cal on YouTube and look up his cake boss video. Selfie, you might want not want to see this. <laughs> this might be a little traumatizing. I'm traumatized. Yeah, it was a direct hit. You didn't get there in time. It set the error ratio to 75%. <laughs> <clears throat> like, half of her friends in Trabia are dead. Her home was blasted to smithereens. Meanwhile, fucking Baumgarten is... Not only was Baumgarten not hit by a single missile, it can fly. And as we saw, Galbadia Garden can also fly. So presumably Trabia Garden had that same ability. But their headmaster just wasn't on point. Let's climb this uh, shit. Find this convenient cargo netting they left outside. Yeah, wow. Oof. Yeah, she's right down there. You see the yellow dot running away? <laughs> oh, yeah. Quizzes his face is a, a Picasso painting. <laughs> Zell and Irvine, they're just like, well, I'm not going in there. Like, that shit looks <laughs> dangerous. It just uh, occurred to me that you possibly could have made a, you possibly could have made a game for the PlayStation One where the characters were modeled to look like Picasso paintings, and it would have worked with the limitations of the PlayStation. Mm. Like, you could give them this fucked up look, so you don't need the high fidelity like they're going for here, and so as they get further away, they don't... I mean, they still melt, but it actually works with how everything looks anyway, because yeah. it's like, well, now it just looks even more abstract and uh, multi... Um, like, multi-perspective. I'll, I'll, I'll take the controller for a bit, because you gotta run all over this place and do, do bullshit to progress. I, I chose an out of character response for Squall, and I was happy that she yeah. responded like that. Like, oh, that's not like him at all. It's terrifying that zombie is in this graveyard. Yeah, that's weird. Kind of looks like Timber Maniacs. 
You read it on the grave of one of Selfie's friends. <laughs> There's a jacket on a couple. Yeah. Because cool jackets. I That looks kind of like Squall's jacket, and I bet someone... I bet somebody wrapped that into the Squall is dead theory. Alright, but in this graveyard we find a gravestone with Squall's jacket on it. That's obviously a symbol that Squall's actually dead. <laughs> you know, because it's impossible to think that some jacket manufacturer made more than one jacket. Yeah. That Squall isn't just an asshole who spent his first paycheck on this sweet jacket. Custom jacket. I got it tailored to fit me exactly. That's why it comes exactly to my waist. You sure you didn't just steal that from a little kid with long arms? <laughs> trying to imagine this little kid with long arms. <laughs> but he's all cold because he yeah. doesn't have his jacket. He's walking through the snow. Actually, because the sleeves are so wide and his hand is a fucking claw right now, <laughs> it makes his arm look real short and stumpy. Yeah. Whereas Quistus has these long, sexy arms. Yeah. With, like, th those long gloves. Yeah. We're the Tech Squad. I'm thinking about buying like a VW Beetle and calling myself the Tech Squad and going around and helping people. No, that's stupid. Don't do that. Okay. That idea would never take <laughs> off. Also thinking about getting people addicted on burgers and fat and sugar. No, that would be a stupid idea too. People are too smart for that. You know everyone wants lean fish and vegetables and fruit? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I developed this bun. It's nothing but air and sugar and salt. <laughs> and white flour. There are literally no nutrients in here except for sugar and fat. Why are you apologizing? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Selfie just punches him in the head. Yeah. You son of a bitch! It was Mr. Bear! Aw, oh, Selfie, you're surrounded by death and you can still do this, this fucking, if you were in a sitcom, that'd be your move. Yeah. And every, then the audience would go, woo! <laughs> oh. Oh, his name is Mr. Bear. Oh. Yeah. It's like the, the build a bear bear I got for my niece. Uh, I got the, the pink fur, but I put a doctor's coat on it. Yeah. To try and inspire her somewhat, and I just called it Dr. Bear, the bear doctor. <laughs> How that's literally say? you go when you go to build a bear they get a little birth certificate I'm like oh that's adorable of course i'm gonna pay for that and i typed in dr bear the bear doctor so very slow and methodically is this a doctor for bears or is this just a bear <laughs> doctor for people don't worry about it the point is it's a female bear and you can be a doctor when you grow up <laughs> you don't have to be a miner's wife or a dental hygienist and then at the same time, someone's like Dr. Bear, the B-A-R-E doctor, yeah. and it's a little stripper outfit, Aww. Dr. Bear. <laughs> oh no. You don't have to be a- you don't have to go to all that school to wear the doctor uniform. Yeah, <laughs> you can just buy those at, like, uh, Spencer's Gifts. Right by the basketball court, okay. They- this is another situation where they tell you they go somewhere, but they give you no hint as to where it is, and it's not obvious that it's even a place you can go. This one didn't explode yet. No, really. Like, well, <laughs> they, well, they say this one's no longer an explosion threat, but we still need to move it because it could crush someone. Oh. There we go. Now I'll pass this back. Now for a sweet game of b-ball? Yeah. Selfie walks on here. <sighs> we used to go so hard in this paint. <laughs> Memories. And then it does a cutscene of her doing, like, the sweetest basketball skills. Yeah. With that mouth guard in, those big goggles. I've been doing some thinking. Can't stop thinking about it. But I can't come up with an answer. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking. I don't know if the sorceress lived a normal life at any <laughs> point. If you're a sorceress, I don't think it gets very normal. Go somewhere, Squall. Go do something. Oh? It is b-ball time. It's always b-ball time. I just hope Selfie really destroys everyone at basketball. She's very She's really good she tries to do that cartoon thing where the short 
basketball player has the advantage by running under the tall character's legs, and it just doesn't work out. They should just play basketball against the sorceress to solve the problems. Here goes Squall off to Mope. Yeah, you have to say what's in your head, dude. <laughs> like, that's the big thing for Squall to learn is... Yeah, every hero has, like, the reconciliation <clears throat> that they need to make before they can really become the hero, and his is just, fucking communicate, you asshole! Like, I get it. It's, it's one of the hardest things to do as a grown adult is to just communicate, especially as a, a man in America, especially if you grew up in a small mining town. Where you're not supposed to voice your feelings or anything. Mm. But like you're you're fucking the fantasy hero. That at least shouldn't be your problem. You know, like Cloud's problem is I can't believe how relatable Cloud's problem actually was when mm -hmm. I got down to yeah. it. Yeah. Like I, I again completely glossed over that as a kid, even as a younger adult, but then replaying it last year and going, oh my god. A Final Fantasy protagonist has a core issue rooted in such a universal human it problem, like embarrassment. Yeah. Like, that's what it comes down to? Lots of uh, Western stories never talk about embarrassment. They don't. They, they, they do not. It's always like regret or like revenge. Re regret or... and revenge are big ones. Or like, yeah, it's never like, I'm embarrassed. Yeah. It's never like, what was the impetus for this whole big thing? Oh, you were just fucking embarrassed that you made a mistake? Uh, now we're coming up on one of the biggest contrivances in Final Fantasy. Irvy. Pervy Irvy, Pervy uh, Irvy. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't buy those magazines. I just found them on that dead sailor on the beach. Playing with war? <laughs> you guessed it. So... So they... Yeah, they knew each other as kids. Everyone except Renoa. Look a little Quistus. They all knew each other? Yeah. And this is the first time they're just talking about it? Well... Or the first time they're what, figuring it out? It's, Irvine remembered that they knew each other, but the others didn't for some reason. And it confused him, because no one else seemed to recognize him. And so he, he he's bringing it up right now. Like, there's, there's Selfie, there's Quistus, there's little Zell. All of this orphanage. He's like, I don't get it, you guys didn't remember me. And they, they didn't remember each other either. And then Squall's like moping outside, or he's a ghost? He's moping all over the place. He's just um, getting his mope everywhere? Yeah, go out back. Talk to little Charlie Brown Squall there. Where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. Yeah. And now take that path to the left. I know. What? Oh, I know. that's a path. I, I see. I went to Google and looked up how to get past this part <laughs> because I did not see that fucking path. This is what Seven did because this was a problem. I don't know why they didn't do it here. This is why they had the hand oh, and there the arrow. Is. Yeah. Oh, I was like, what? See, yeah, exactly. That's why Seven has the hand and the arrow is telling you, like, here's an exit, here's a ladder, here's something you can interact with. Because this is a problem with 
pre-rendered backgrounds is sometimes they aren't apparent. And because they w went really hard making these pre-rendered backgrounds look so good, it's actually detrimental because now they nothing stands out. Yo, little kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks? That's remarkably dangerous. <laughs> Even Zell knows this. <laughs> I'm telling. We all got in big trouble. Aw, oh, Zell, you were adopted. Dinchts? Dinchts. That's a... You have a terrible name to say in the plural. Like... Like, dinched is one thing, but dinched... So many consonants together, yeah. it just doesn't... Dinched. <sighs> Who's this? Cypher. It had to be. It just he still has, yeah, he has his gray pants and his fucking logo on his shirt still. Or rather, he had it as early as the age of like six. Oh my goodness, Cypher <laughs> was a dick. At <laughs> this whole time, yeah. Turns out people never change, they just become older versions of whatever they were as kids. Ghost kick, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember you. Always crying and screaming. Ah, <laughs> oh, and that's why I don't like kids. Crying, screaming, shitting, getting blue sugar water everywhere somehow. <laughs> you haven't fed them anything. No, blue but they, in a they week. still have just blue around their mouth. And like, God damn. Hands. Why do kids? Why are kids always covered in dyes? And because parents are, are like, yeah, this is nutrition. Here's blue drink. Here's blue cotton candy. My... Here's blue snow cone liquid. It's not even a snow cone. No, no, no. It's just the... Yeah, it's just that liquid you pour on it. That syrup. And you give them... Give it to them a snow cone that has a tiny hole in the bottom, so it's constantly dripping? Mm-hmm. The, the biggest thing I try to convince my, my siblings of is, hey, don't buy your kids blue drink or red drink. Don't buy them those fucking brightly colored drinks and milk jugs. Ugh. Ugh. The ones that look like car fluid? They, yeah, they look like car fluid or fucking like a clown threw up. <laughs> Sis L. So alone is the, the sis he's been referring to this whole time. But alone was with Laguna and Rain back in Windhill. What? Something bad happened. What happened? You mean Sis is alone? Yeah, she's all alone. <laughs> cuts to Zell, and he's got this big goofy smile. It cuts back to Selfie, she's giving him finger guns. <laughs> but they're not like coming from her arms, like her hands are coming straight up from yeah, the bottom yeah, of the screen, yeah. and they're way too small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I like that joke so That's much? so funny, I don't know. Which reminds me, there's, uh, there's a YouTube channel you might want to check out called Drawfee. Drawfee? Yeah, basically people give them bad ideas and they just draw the bad ideas that people give them. Nice. And they, they do jokes like that when they're when they're drawing. It's like I'm gonna give them these stupid like finger gun hands or something. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. <laughs> so they sent me off to be a child soldier. <clears throat> The, this this is the single biggest contrivance in Final Fantasy history. Of, oh, we all grew up together and happened to come together again? Like, I guess it might be a, a fate thing, but... Yeah. I don't... I would... Look, we know time travel is a part of the story, right? I would buy if the explanation is that someone was fucking around with time mm -hmm. to make... To shape events so they did come back together. But I don't think that's the case. I would buy that. 
Mm. And then when it got to that point, I would completely completely drop my frustration at this 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 pretense. But I don't think they ever sell it. It's just raw coincidence that they all came back together. Most of them happened to go to Balm Garden, and even the ones who didn't got assigned to the team that did go to Balm mm. Garden. <laughs> Quistus. Thought she was in love with Squall? No, I just felt like your big sister. That's like, weird, Quistus. Kind of a love. I mean, different. Oh, love. of course, but like she. She didn't know what the feeling quite was. Oh well. Let's go back up here. No, no, you gotta uh, keep talking to everybody, yeah. Juana, I'm trying to talk to you. You're in the background, it's kinda hard to get to you. Go talk to Quistus. <laughs> She's just staring at the ocean going like, now would nah. it technically be incest? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, how could I compete? Like, she saw him dancing with Renoa, and she's like, well, damn. I give up. And the explanation as to how they forgot is the guardian forces they use uh, basically take up a part of their brain, which affects their memory. Which I said a couple episodes ago that when Squall couldn't remember that guy with the familiar face, that might be a story beat. Mm. It, it, it seems like that may be the case here. Except that he's had no trouble remembering other faces, yeah. and so I think that was just like, oh, Squall didn't quite notice these two when he got off the... when he got off of Garden. Or this game's story just isn't the best. Yeah. And they, or that. Yeah. Like it was meant to be a plot point, but they didn't sell it earlier throughout the game. Like if throughout the whole game, Squall was having trouble remembering faces that he was just meeting for, or even the people that he's you know supposed to have met many times before we joined up, then I would buy it more. Where it's like, okay, that explains why he said again. Like seven, you go back. It's like that's why Cloud's always doing the that, those handful of moves, yeah. or why. He, Someone will ask him a question about his past, and there will be a flash of light. Because he's literally th thinking to himself, how do I lie mm. about this? Like, but self- and the ball and garden is the only one that uses GFs for this very reason, because they're slightly dangerous. It's like, but Selfie, you went to Trabia, why don't you remember any of this? Like, oh, but I, I found a GF at some point. <laughs> I forgot everything at yeah. a young age, and now yep. look at me. So what this game is saying is, in exchange for power and glory, you lose out on your childhood innocence. Basically, yes. I think I've forgotten everything. I think I forgot how to swallow. Uh, and then saliva just starts pulling up at a frightening rate and pouring <laughs> out. Her eyes are darting oh. left and right, like <laughs> panic. God! God! This is bad. Quizzes. Yeah, I forgot how to buy sleeves. <laughs> That's why I'm always wearing these long gloves. <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, spooky rectangle ladies. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nadia, even without her sorceress garb, is basically Jamie. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Just buy this exact <laughs> outfit for Jamie. Jamie, uh, let's see. Halloween's going to be coming up. How about you go as Nadia? Who? <laughs> don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. You can just tell people you're like Elvira or something. No, no, there's a certain amount of people who will love it. And you don't have to explain it or understand, but just trust me. Some, yeah. <laughs> some people will really love it. <laughs> we probably couldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. So let's gloss over it and get on with the adventure. <laughs> Just not worry about it for right now, guys. This is strange. Life is strange. Just talk it out. Why? Just speak. Yeah. <laughs> What's he gonna say? He's gonna say what? Oh, he's not gonna say anything at all. 
yeah, he's listening, but he's not talking, so it does Here's the thing, you can't just listen, you also need to participate. Otherwise, you may as well not be listening. Mm. has infinite possibilities and sometimes you're a time traveling sorceress. Yeah, Irvine. And this moment feels like it's supposed to parallel the moment from Seven where Squall gets all better, yeah. as I keep saying. But it's not. But it's 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 not, because none of this was built up or sold to us beforehand. It's just like, hey, by the way, you guys all knew each other's kids, like, and okay. and, they're not, and they weren't in the middle of, they weren't in the middle of some sort of personal crisis when they came here, right? Like, Squall was all mm. fucked up from the past two-thirds of the game occurring. Here, they were just kind of drifting around for a bit, and or then they were in cloud, Garden. Rather. Hmm? Oh, He's, Cloud. You said Squall was oh, fucked up. Oh, yeah, but cl Cloud, rather. But here, like, they were just kind of drifting around for a bit, and then they came to check on Trabia, and then for some reason Irvine was like, Hey, I remember you all, by the way. Yeah. Like, they didn't need encouragement to carry on. It, 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 it kind of feels like they just didn't know how to... It feels like they didn't know how to bridge yeah. from here to where we're gonna go immediately after like, this. And so they just threw all this in. It's like, let's just have them have a big old fucking conversation, which our... Our main protagonist is gonna ruin by just being a fucking gloomy gloom. Blending into the debris yeah. in the background while the rest of the party are bonding. Yeah, let's go kill things. Woo, murder! I do like murder. It's not snow, it's ash. <laughs> a gift from the fairies. It's no, Selfie, snow is the worst thing to have in this current scenario. It's gifts. It's a gift from the fairy. It's ashes of your fellow classmates. Oh, they taste delicious. <laughs> yeah, she's catching them on her tongue. <laughs> One lands on her eye, she blinks over it roughly. Like... <laughs> Past in the past, it's over with. Squall, we didn't hear that first part you were thinking. <laughs> Squall, you have a real big in media res problem, but with your communication skills. Renoa, you want to go one on one? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 